I want to add a major update to the ledge grab today. First, let me move this guy out of the way. Right now, if I look at Sophie, we have the ledge checker, and then we also have the ledge. One of you told me having a separate ledge script is a bad idea because in the long term, every time I do a new level design, I have to go into the ledge and then fine tune the numbers there. So I think I'm gonna get rid of the ledge and focus on just the ledge checker and be able to check the ledges with this code alone. I might have to add an extra script to the character, but from this point on, we're not going to need the ledge anymore. So let me get all the ledges. We have four in this scene. I'm going to delete all of them. Let me also take a look at Sophie in the animator. I want to look at the hanging idol. And here I want to get rid of this ability offset and ledge because I'm going to do this through the script. So let me bring this up. Get rid of offset and ledge. Just delete it. Let me also delete the code offset on ledge. We're not going to need it anymore. And we don't have any errors. Let me try playing and see what happens. Okay, obviously we're not getting the detection anymore. I'm gonna look at the ledge checker. And here, instead of having one box collider, I'm gonna have two. So let me create an empty game object, collider one and collider two. I'm going to copy this box collider, put it in both of the game objects, and remove the old one. And for collider 2, I'm going to move this up slightly by a single unit. Let me add 0 0.01 just to make a slight difference between collider 1 and collider 2. And what I plan on doing is if a platform touches Collider 1, but if it doesn't touch Collider 2, it means you're grabbing onto the ledge. I'm going to create a script for these colliders. Let me check where the ledge checker is on. Okay, I'm going to create a new script in the same folder. I'll call it ledge collider. Go into the script. Start with the usual namespace. And for this script, I'm going to have a list, a public list of game objects. I'm going to call it collided objects. I'm going to keep an entire list of all the collided objects in each of the colliders. So on trigger enter, I'll also have on trigger exit. And we want to take a look at the object. If the list does not contain the object that we're colliding against, add it to the list. Same thing with exit. Only this time, if it's already in the list, we remove it. A couple things we want to watch out for. We want to check if we're colliding with, a, with another player. We want to make sure that's not the case. We also want to make sure that we're not colliding against a weapon. You don't want to ledge grab on a weapon or, or a player. Okay, same thing for exit. I'm going to have more of these later on. For now, I'll just check only the character and the weapon. I'm going to go back to Unity. Add the ledge collider to both collider 1 and 2. I'm 
And let me see if they're working. We should be seeing some of these objects in the list. add a little exclamation mark here. Let me play again. Okay, so as these colliders touch the, the platform, we see it being added to the list. Now let's go to the ledge checker. I want to add a couple of public variables. Edge Collider, Collider 1, Collider 2, drag both of them into the list, into the variables, and if I look at the let's checker again, I'm going to start fresh in a fixed update. First, I want to check if the player is in the air. Looks like we don't have the character controller. Let's get the character control first. In the beginning of the game, get component and parent character control. And in the update, you want to check if the character is grounded or not. Get bool, get the hash manager, get the dictionary, get the bool parameter, grounded parameter. Okay, and if the character is in the air, meaning not grounded, we want to check the list in the ledge colliders, all the objects in one of the lists, collided objects in collider one. And if that object is not in collider one, collider two, that means we're touching the edge of a platform, the ledge not in the list. So in this case, we are grabbing the ledge. So this variable becomes true and we want to break out of the loop. In every other circumstance, we're not grabbing the ledge. Okay. If you're grounded, we're also not grabbing a ledge. We also want to take a look at the list. If the list is empty, we're also not grabbing a ledge. So only in this case, we have ledge detection. Save all the code. I'm going to go back and play. See what happens. See if we can get the detection. We have an error message. Okay. The AI doesn't have the scripts that I just added to Sophie. Nothing's under the latch checker. And I want to apply the changes to all of the variants. If I right click, let me right click here. Okay, we have this added game object option. I want to apply to YBOD yellow, which is the original. If I do this, the change is going to get applied to all of the variants that are coming from the yellow bot. Okay, make sure I apply everything. If I look 
at the Y bot. Okay, we got the Let's Checker, Collider 1 and 2. Now let me click play, see what happens. Looks like we're getting a detection no matter what. Let me go back to the code. On the ledge checker, we'll start out with this variable being false. Let me also check the code. Okay, we have a mistake here. If the list is empty, we're not grabbing a ledge. Okay, let me play again. Okay, first, let me just try jumping. So we don't have the detection. But if I touch the end, there you see it. Okay. Looks like the trigger is working fine. But we need to do a bit of an offset because the previous one, now you can't get up on the ledge anymore. We need the player to be slightly up and forward. But I think I've done enough in this video. Let me try attacking, see if we get any other errors. And we have one. Okay, we don't have the component, we don't have the box collider component in the ledge checker anymore. So instead of turning off the collider in the ledge checker, we turn it off from collider one and two. Try again. Okay. In the next video, I'll let, I'll start working on the calibration on the ledge so that Sophie can get up onto the next platform. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.